Hello Davy Crew! This is gonna be a one take, or at least I'm gonna attempt for it to be a one take. It is Friday night, I just got out of the shower. Josh is ready to get on his computer. We've been hanging out out here all evening because our kids took a nap at the same time, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Indy's awake talking in her crib, so we need to go grab her. And the battery is flashing. I'm out of breath because I ran out to the car to get the camera, so there's a lot going on right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I feel really bad that I did not get a video up this week and I wanted to explain why and what's been going on. And this is my partner in crime. We've been going through this together. So, <laughs> so I wanted you to help explain. Um, oh. Is she crying or? Soon. Okay. Um, so we mentioned in like last, whatever video we posted last, the things with Scout has been tough. She's Are definitely. Sure, but I just go get her. Fine, go get her. This is gonna ruin my one take. Oh my gosh, the battery's flashing. So, anyways, um, Josh is gonna grab Indy. We mentioned last week that things with Scout have been rough. She's definitely a three major, and I just want to say that Scout has been so well-tempered and easygoing. Such an easy, easy toddler. Slept great, like never through tantrums ever. So anyways, this is all throwing us for a loop because we're just not used to Scout being like this, right? Like this is so unlike her. And um, so at first we were thinking it might be like, um, what are they called? Night terrors, stuff like that. Um, basically, I'm not gonna give all the details, but Scout made it clear to us that this turned into would you say her like being in control and just wanting to call the shots and mixed in with like I'm scared yeah. but I mean like ultimately it was like I don't want to follow your rules I want to make my own rules so that's not okay with us like we're in charge so um, we had a really 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 insane crazy night um, where we were up past midnight and it was just nuts Okay, you guys, that one take turned into just a major, major fail. <laughs> Basically, the battery died, and this is like three hours later that I'm filming this now. I let the battery charge, and then it just broke out into chaos. We realized we really needed to wake Scout up from her late nap, because if we did not, she would never go to sleep. So, I'm gonna still try to make this quick. Um, Josh is in the shower now, so... So he's not going to be in the video anymore, but I will fill you guys in. I think we were talking about Scout. She's now sitting right next to me. Um, but basically, we just realized that it was no longer a situation where we needed to be sensitive about it. It was a situation where we needed to take control of it and just be the parents. And so um, we had a pretty intense night one night where we were up past midnight. Josh had work the next day, and it was crazy. There was a lot of crying and screaming, and we just stuck to our guns, and we did not back down, and we just showed her that the rules are the rules, and no matter how much she cried and screamed, she was not going to get her way, and um, it was a terrible night. But I am happy to report that since then, since those rules were made clear and she realized they are not changing, um, the three nights since then have been really good. So, um, I'm telling you guys this because I really just felt like this week it was more important for us to really focus on Scout and be parents and like handle the situation um, rather than like pull out the camera and make vlogs. I just felt like it was very important for us because she's never done this before and she was clearly testing the boundaries to see how far she could get. And um, once we realized that, we were like, okay, this is like a serious time that we have to show her who's in charge. So anyways, I feel like we're getting things back under control again. Okay. So thank you for being patient with all of that. I wanted to also tell you guys, this is really exciting. I've been thinking about this this week and um, I've really been giving it a lot of thought because I want to do this the right way. And um, I'm happy to report that Davy Candle Co. is back up and running, you guys. 
Um, after much thought and deliberation, I have decided though that I'm gonna run things differently. So if you've ordered from me in the past, um, you have basically three different options per scent. So I have three different jars that you can choose from. I have two sizes in the hexagon jars. I have an amber glass jar. I love all of them, but what I realized is that I was making candles to order. So you would order from me, then I would make the candle, and then I would ship it out. That just does not work. It does not work. And I was also offering too many choices, and so um, with all of those choices, it was too hard for me to make candles ahead of time, have a stock built up so that when people ordered, candles were just ready to go. Um, because it, I was risking, you know, making candles in this size in this jar and then they would never be ordered. And I can't afford to do that. So I'm going to narrow down the options. Long story short, whatever is listed on my Etsy or my website, whatever is listed is made and ready to go. So when you order from me, you know that that candle is sitting on the shelf, already made, ready to ship out. And so um, shipping is gonna be way faster. The stress for me is gonna go way down because everything that is ordered is already made. And that is gonna seriously make things so much easier for me. So I will probably have days, probably on a weekend, where I'm like, Josh, this is my candle making day. I need to stock up on this scent or whatever. And I will just set them on my shelf and they will be ready to go. So that is my plan for Davy Candle Co. I wanted to do something really nice because I've never done something like this and I thought I need to do a giveaway. I just want to do a giveaway. So in the comments down below, I want you to tell me if you are a candle lover, what do you love about candles? And I will tell you my favorite thing about candles. Number one, they just smell freaking good, but um, the freaking thing that- Freaking is not a good word to use. <laughs> Scout says, freaking is not a good word to use. You're right, I know, I'm sorry. So the thing that I love about candles is when I am not feeling motivated, especially to clean my house, I have noticed that if I light a candle, it just like, it's that kick in the pants to like get moving. A candle to me, like having a clean house with candles lit is my dream, like that is like the ultimate goal. Um, but I've realized that when I light a candle, for some reason it just motivates me to like, okay, a candle is lit, let's get this room clean, and and then we can like relax and just have a good smelling room. So that's what I love about candles. Um, to me, they symbolize like a clean space. I don't know if that makes sense, but that is one thing that I love about candles. So in the comments, let me know. Maybe maybe certain scents remind you of certain times or certain places. Um, I don't know what you guys love about candles, but let me know. And then Josh Whoa. and I together will choose at random um, somebody's Whoa. comment and we'll message you letting you know you were the winner and we will ship you a candle for free just because I want to. This is definitely not a one take, but I just wanted to get this video out because I haven't put up a video this week and tomorrow is Saturday and we are going to be celebrating Mother's Day on Saturday and I wanted that vlog to just be celebrating Mother's Day and I didn't want to have to explain all of this in that vlog. So, um, so yeah, we're going to have a good day tomorrow. Scout and I have some things planned. We're going to spend the morning together, just her and I. I think that's something that I really want to make more of a priority is having some time with just Scout because being a big sister is kind of hard. Like I do feel bad for her sometimes and I think it's important that, I don't know, that her and I get some time alone without a baby. So, it has um, It does? Can you help me feel better after this? Yeah. So we're going to spend the morning together and then I think Josh and I are going on a lunch date and his mom is going to watch the girls. So yeah, it should be fun. Thank you guys for watching this video, watching me ramble and make excuses. I'm just kidding. And I hope all of you mothers out there have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Scout, do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye, mother. Say happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.